All right guys, so we just finished looking at the project and me and Ty consecutively decided that, yeah, it, it's, it just had full blown hail damage. You know, that's part of the game when you start looking at stuff online, people don't disclose everything. They, I think they think it's like, hey, maybe we can get them down here. Like maybe we can make a deal, right? Yeah, and I also think it's some people don't, he, he didn't even see that as a issue. Okay. He was just like, oh yeah, duh, it's got that. And we were like, Oh yeah, it's total, bro. It's total. Like every <laughs> every single panel of the vehicle is pelted. Um, but it's all right. We're about to go get some food, and by the time you guys see this, I'll probably be looking at a whole nother vehicle. So I'm just taking these videos to sort of save them. Um, so next time I come on camera, you guys will will be on another adventure to look at another vehicle. So. So it's early in the morning. We're here in uh, San Antonio, Texas. We're waiting for the guy to bring the vehicle and uh, we're gonna check it out. Again, we're equipped to uh, just tow it back to my place and uh, we'll go from there. So once it gets here and I look it over and if it works out, this is the what, third time? I've been to Dallas, been to Houston, now San Antonio. So this should be the, uh, the charm here, hopefully. And uh, we'll go ahead and take it back home. So if I do pick it up, I'll show you what it is. If I don't pick it up, I'm just gonna save this for a later time again. So let's see what happens. All right guys, so everything went as planned. I ended up buying the vehicle. It's actually right behind us now. You can see it's a, uh, it's a truck. So once we get up uh, to my place and we download it, we're gonna, I'm gonna do a walkthrough and a overview around it. So uh, yeah, let's get there. All right guys, I apologize for the wind noise if there is any, it's kind of windy out here, but we just got the truck off the trailer. Huge shout out to my brother Ty here, hooking it up. I don't really have another, get away from this wind. I didn't really have a ride down there or to you know all these trips we've been taking, so he came in clutch versus driving down there with one vehicle and then driving back up with two vehicles, two gas fills. So we just decided to stick the truck in the trailer. He's got a diesel, pulls it like a feather. So uh, what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and walk around the truck, maybe do a little montage action here for you guys. And then um, I will talk about my plans with the truck. So enjoy. The All right guys, so I'm inside the Daytona. It's just so windy outside that I don't want the microphone to pick up all that wind noise and you guys can't hear me. So as you can see the Daytona, it's it's not it's not perfect by any means. It's definitely a project and that's what I was looking for, but it's not such a project that I can't just jump in it and drive it every day. And that's actually what I'm gonna start doing. So my goal with this truck, uh, some simple things just off the top of my head is I wanna lower it and I know people are gonna say like, you're gonna lower a truck, it's gonna be no good. Um, but don't worry about that because I'm gonna do it anyway because it's sick. 
Uh, second goal is to increase the horsepower and I'm not sure if I'm going to use one of these boost kits that come from like Pro Charger or if I'm just going to stick to NA motor which is what I know best. Uh, maybe can it, uh, but my goal is to be right around 400 horsepower with this truck. Now it's still a truck so you guys know it's still going to be heavy and it might be slower than let's say my car. So. Some things I need to get, uh, it's missing the Daytona side steps, it's missing the Daytona spoiler, uh, one of the tail lights is cracked, and you know, I'll slowly start replacing all that stuff uh, as I get to it. If you guys remember, I had a 2004 Dodge Ram 2500 and it was silver just like this, and I had the SRT 10 hood on it, just like the Daytona, and it was more of your typical Texas truck. It was lifted, it was big, it was heavy, and uh, no off-roading by any means. It was definitely a mall crawler. I just used to mob around in it, and I got the itch to build a quote-unquote race truck. It's something I've always thought was super cool is when trucks are fast. Uh, so, I, and I love the look of the third gen Ram, which is why I said, you know, I want to do a Daytona. They're one, super rare. Two, I think a third gen Ram just looks really cool. And three, it's got something that I really know well, and that's a Hemi. So, started the hunt for one of these, ended up buying it. Here it is. So, if you guys uh, want to keep up with the Daytona build, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. If you like these videos, hit the like button. If you love these videos, definitely hit the subscribe button. And uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. So, until next time, guys, peace out.